Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you're enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for grade 5. We are learning unit 3. Its title is We All Are Equal. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children, today under the title of formal and lexical skills, we are going to learn about parts of speech. Before this in English for grade four, I have taught you about the part of speech. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to organize vocabulary items learned in class and from the extended environment, including media, in a notebook according to parts of speech and word family. Today, our focus will be parts of speech. Change part of speech of a given word. These are our today's SLOs. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 31. And he taught Adam, alayhi salam, the names all of them when he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed them to the angels and said inform me of the names of these if you are truthful yes my dear children subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named everything and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught these names to prophet Adam alayhi salam this is what, what this verse is telling us. And then what happened? Allah showed those things to angels and said, tell me the name of these. Do you know them? So you see, subhanallah, Prophet Adam salam knew that names, but angels did not. You see, this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed Prophet Adam salam with knowledge. So this verse tells us the place, the rank of humanity because of knowledge. So this is what we are learning. And beta, there is no limit of learning. Once we learn something, there are still many things to learn. So this is how which we will learn today that we, we have learned many, you know, noun, pronoun, verbs, many things. Today we learn these things as parts of speech. Okay, so first you tell me, what are nouns and what do you know about verbs and what are adjectives we have learned all these things so pause the video first tell the answers of these questions to your teacher and then come back yes my dear children i hope you remember all these uh, you know vocabulary we have learned Everything around us that we can see, hold, touch or feel has a name and that is called a noun. Remember? And this noun may refer to a person, a place or thing. This is what noun is. All right? Now, there are many nouns in this picture. First, teacher, I want uh, my children to connect with the topic. So pause the video and name all the nouns from this picture. Yes, my dear children, I hope you could name all the or maximum nouns from this picture. And now the next thing is the action is something that someone is doing, right? And that action word is verb. Good. For example, sleeping, sitting and napping. So even though there is no movement, there is still an action, okay? So verb does not mean you are moving, that's an action. Whatever can tell what a person is doing, that's a verb, okay? So I'm just looking at you. I'm not moving, still look is a verb, good. All right, look at this picture, tell me what she's doing. What is the action? She's not saying anything, so look carefully. She is thinking. So, think is 
action and she is writing as well think look at her face she is thinking she is writing so there are two action at a time we can find sleep action eat yes and eat is the action word and in grammar what do we call it work good and he's happy to eat this is something what when you like now, what is an adjective? An adjective tells more about a noun, such as color, age, quality, quantity, size, etc. Right? So, a noun is a naming word. For example, I say book. Book is a noun. So, when I say interesting book, that word interesting is adjective because it is telling more about book. Remember? So this is an adjective. Boy is a noun. Young boy. This young is adjective which is telling more about boy. Thai is a noun. Green is adjective which is telling more about Thai. Remember? So all these words which tells more about noun which modifies the noun are adjectives good strong boy strong is adjective so this is how we have already learned let's see what does your book say about it open your book nouns adjectives and verbs are part of speech understand so we know nouns we know adjectives we know verbs all of them they are together called part of speech a noun names the Things and an adjective tells more about noun, such as color, age, quality, quantity, size, etc. A verb is an action word, for example, sleep, write, eat, etc. We know all these. You understand? So, beta, all these words, all these uh, grammar terms which we have already learned, together we call them parts of speech. So, today our focus will be on noun, adjectives, and verbs. These three parts of speech we are going to focus for today's lecture, right? We can express one idea in different ways by using different forms of the same words. Excitement, excite and excited. Now, choose is a verb. When I say choice, it becomes a noun. And when I say chosen, it becomes an adjective. You see? We can, from one word, we can convert word into other form of, into other part of speech, and even we can take another part of speech. Choose means to select, it's a verb. Choice is a noun, it's my choice, okay? And we are chosen people, it's adjective. Do you understand? So one word, one part of speech can be converted into other by different you know, by different uh, uh, characteristics, all right? The other example is encourage, it's a verb. Courage, it's a noun. And courageous is an adjective. The root word is same, but different forms of different parts of speech can be modified into different ways, right? Do you understand? Okay, so it's time to check what I've learned. I'm giving you a very interesting activity. You have to go to a part of speech. It's a search hunt. Okay, search your hunt. Grab a stack of old magazines. Okay, this is teacher will provide you old magazines and send students on a hunt to find the parts of speech, noun, verbs, and adjective. Today, our hunt is still these three parts of speech, noun, verb and adjective and students can cut them out and glue them on uh, to poster and they can hang it outside the class so what we are going to do teacher will give you material you have to cut these three noun verbs and adjectives out of fact so pause the video enjoy this activity yes my dear children are you done with it good job smart work so we are going to practice it from your book what you are going to do, pick the words from the given box and write them in your relevant column, okay? There are three columns, noun, verb, and adjective. 
and this is the word bank you have to take a word and see which is the relevant column okay so pause the video complete this exercise in your notebook yes my dear children as you done with it good job it's time for your homework you will write 10 sentences and highlight nouns verbs and adjectives in these sentences and I'm giving you a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear children, what you are going to do, once again, here is a word bank, and you have to write these words in the relevant columns. So in this way, what we have learned, we were able to recall the learned part of speech, and we learned that we can express one idea in different ways by using different form of the same words. So in this way, we achieved our SLO to organize vocabulary item learned in class and from the extended environment, including media, in a notebook according to parts of speech and word family, change part of speech of a given word. Yes, my dear children, are we done with it? Yes, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing. Take very good care of yourself and the people around you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.